Welcome to What the Puck here at the Young Turks. You know, I never told you guys about my younger twin brothers, um, and I thought I'd introduce them to you today. Uh, it's obviously my brothers, Henrik and Joel. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's not really my brothers, guys. These are the Lundquists. Um, they're out here in California. What they want, you know, a lot of people want to see the Hollywood sign. They want to go to the Griffith Observatory. And we got a call last week that, that the Lundquist brothers wanted to come in and do the Young Turks TYT Sports. I was like, all right, I'll drag myself out of bed to do that. Um, Henrik, Joel, thanks for being here. Um, I, I want to talk, you know, the world has just experienced soccer. And for every hockey fan, whenever anything kind of creeps into, like, you know, tries to challenge for fourth place in our minds here in America, we think that soccer, did, do not push hockey at. You know, <laughs> do not do that. What, uh, do you think there's any chance that hockey sort of can, can grasp onto that sort of fervor that happens around soccer now. Having big tournaments always creates uh, interest and, and, and passion for, for that sport. And World Cup is huge. Yeah. And, and when I look at hockey, you know, our big opportunities, obviously playoffs is big, but yeah. Olympics, I think it's a great stage for hockey where we build a big platform and, 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 and reach new fans. And how, how important is international competition to you? That's very important, like Henrik said, and uh, uh, play Olympics, World Championships. Uh, it's good for hockey. You see more countries, uh, they're getting better for each year. Yeah. Uh, if you go back 10, 15 years, it was maybe five countries really good, but now it's eight, nine countries that they produce a lot of good players. It's, yeah. uh, it's really good to see. This is one of the few hockey interviews that I've ever seen or done where neither of you has said you know once. <laughs> <laughs> Every between period interviews, we used to have a game, like it was a drinking game where we'd play with each other or gambling on it. How many times is this guy gonna say you know? There's a guy named John O'Grodnick who played for the Detroit Red Wings, also played for the New York Rangers, who said you know 37 times in one between period <laughs> interview. So That's uh, impressive. Yeah, I, I wanna congratulate you guys. Um, the, the two of you, do you know, how much do you know about Henrik's career and his numbers and stats? Do you talk about that stuff at all? Uh, not so much. No. I read it and see all of it in the papers and yeah. TV back home in Sweden. Uh, right. They cover the Rangers a lot uh, compared to the other teams. Yeah. Uh, because of Henrik, of course, and the other Swedes uh, right. been playing in the team. But uh, so it's so easy to, to follow how he's playing. Right. Uh, when we talk, it's more how he's doing and how he feels outside the rink. How many career NHL goals does your brother have? Wow, good question. Uh, I'm I guessing. Fifteen. That's too many. Yeah. yeah I mean, Five. <laughs> <laughs> you got the under. I, I looked. I think it's seven. Oh, it yeah. is? Yeah. Five, oh, seven. don't uh, pretend like you don't know. Come on. I man. don't. I don't. Really? You don't know? Bad Every, memories. The only important thing is he did not score against me. Right. You played each other. You were with Dallas. Henrik was with the Rangers. And you played each other. What, what was that like? I was weird feeling. Yeah, uh, nerve-wracking. Yeah, yeah. To see him on the other side of the, the ice in a different team. Uh, We've been playing for the same team our whole life, right. uh, and then just uh, yeah, that was yeah. weird. And it didn't help the the entire team kept talking about the the entire day. Yeah. You know, you had the media, and, and and so it was hard to not think about it. Right. So were you tempted to let up a soft one? No, I <laughs> I'm mean, not saying the years would have been soft, by the way. <laughs> you know, if, if he would score, it's something I have to live with for the rest of my life. <laughs> exactly. And he would bring it up all the time, every, every family dinner. Um, so, no, it was definitely a big game right. for many reasons. Uh, but it was, it was exciting. And as a Ranger goalie, they call you the king of New York. That's pretty good. I mean, you got rid of Ed Koch and Rudolph Giuliani, and look, you're, you're the king of New York now. Well, uh, do you have any appreciation for the history of Ranger goalies? I mean, can you, do you know a lot about them? Uh, you know, you, you look at not only the goalies, but players that play for that organization, and, yeah. and it's impressive. You know, it, it's a franchise that's been around for so long, and, and um, you know, I have a lot of respect for, for those players that, that play such a big part for that organization. So oh, yeah. it's fun when you can measure yourself and, and uh, you look at, uh, you know, the games you play now and you look at guys that play for 15, 20 years and, yeah. and, and you know, it, it's just impressive. And, and the best part is they, they're 
come in and they see us uh, a couple of times every year and it's you great. get to know them and yeah. Uh, you know, Hall of Famers, and, and, and you think, oh, I don't ever want to get myself looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> they're, Guys, they're great people. Quickly, before you go, um, in Swedish, please subscribe to TYT Sports. Could you say that for me? Please subscribe to TYT Sports. Uh, who's gonna say that? Um, I'm not like that. Do you want another language? Yeah, <laughs> can, we, can we do it in Finnish? <laughs> Finnish would be good. All right, guys, thanks a lot. <laughs>